HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hiller's Softball on HCAM. It's the Hillers against Dedham today, and we are ready to get going. We have on. So, leading things off for Dedham is Gianna Schiarappa, and she takes a ball from Charlotte Can getting the start today. And we had some technical difficulties trying to get the live stream up, but we should be ready to go now. And it's senior night for the Hillers, so we'll be talking a lot about the seniors. A swing and in, a miss there. That'll make the count two and one on Gianna Schiarappa. Set to deliver, swing and a miss, two and two. We'll take you through the Hillers' defense in just a moment. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. Beautiful day here at the turf fields. Temperatures in the 60s popped up and caught by Bella Otzi for out number one. That'll bring up Madeline Friday, the shortstop. Let's take a look at the Dedham lineup. Gianna Schiarappa led things off with a flyout. Madeline Friday, the shortstop, batting second. Cassidy... Hickey, the first baseman, batting third. Sierra Bolette, the catcher, hitting cleanup. A swing and a miss there. Julia Salome, the center fielder, batting fifth. Molly Egan, the pitcher, hitting sixth. Alyssa Elliott, the second baseman, hitting seventh. Wind up in the pitch. Just outside. And then uh, batting eighth is the left fielder for Dedham. Alejandra Gannett. And then... Lucia Floria, the right fielder, is batting ninth. Excuse me, it's Alejandro Gonzalez, the left fielder, hitting eighth. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air, and it is out of the reach of everybody. It lands on top of the backstop. Let's take a look at the Hiller's defense. Charlotte Can, the pitcher, Jillian Cedia behind the plate. First base, Bella Ansi. Second base, Emily Whalen. Shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre. Third base, Kristen McCluskey. Left to right, Jordan Chevery, Katie Holly, and Megan Sullivan. Swing and a miss. Out number two, that'll bring up Cassidy Hickey, the first baseman. She is a sophomore. Line up on the pitch, there's a strike. We also have coverage of the Hillers baseball game that will be airing on HCAM. That game is not live on our YouTube stream, but we will have that game airing. Hillers softball 12 and three on the season. They have just played wonderful this year. Dedham's 11 and five. Line up on the pitch. Hit in the air, foul out of play. That'll make it one and two. And this is up the middle. That'll get through into center field for a two out base hit. So that puts one on with two outs. And now Sierra Bullet, the catcher, will step in. So as for Hiller's baseball yesterday, they were supposed to take on Medfield, and that game had some pouring rain right after we got done setting up. And then they did get the game started. Unfortunately, we had to end the broadcast due to the fact that everything was pretty soaked, but they only played about two innings, so none of it counted as more rain came to hit the area, affecting many games throughout the TVL as that pitch is down low. One and O oh count. And 
there's a swing and a miss. And we have a double dose of Hiller's Senior Nights for you today. Of course, we're starting things off with Hiller's softball, and then later on at 6.30, we'll have Hiller Boys Lacrosse taking on Dedham. Down low. Two and one on Sierra Bolette, the catcher. Line up in the pitch, just a little high there. Dedham, of course, a newer team in the TVL. And there's a walk, so that puts two on with two outs. And that'll bring up Julius Salome, the center fielder. And some words from the Dedham coach there. And we'll see what kind of strategy Dedham implements with two outs and a pair on. And that is down in the dirt. Both runners are going to advance. Wild pitch. Well, Charlotte can struggled in her Last appearance against Bellingham. She is a freshman, so certainly uh, working on her skills. And she does have some nice pitches. And she has good velocity that I feel is only going to get better as she continues to grow. And she has some pretty good uh, breaking stuff as well. It's been Juliana Cedia getting the majority of the starts due to the fact that she's just pitched so well. That pitch was just outside, but I think did draw the swing. Swing and a miss there, one and two. One pitch away from getting out of this little jam here. We'll try to get you updates from the Hiller baseball game as well. Swing and a miss, and that'll wrap up the top of the first. We are scoreless as we head to the bottom of the first on HCAM. You are tuned in to Hiller's softball. Bottom of the first up next. We are just about set for the bottom of the first. A scoreless game between the Hillers and Denham. Let's take a look at the Hillers lineup leading things off. Second baseman, Emily Whalen. Third baseman, Kristen McCluskey batting second. Katie Holly, the center fielder, hitting third. Cleanup is Jillian Cedia, the catcher. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, batting fifth as Molly Egan set to throw the first pitch. Tara Kester, the designated player, batting sixth. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, batting seventh. Jordan Chevery, the left fielder, hitting eighth. That pitch up high. Megan Sullivan, the right fielder, hitting ninth. Let's take a look at the Dedham defense. Molly Egan is the pitcher. Her battery mate is Sierra Bolette. And at first base, Cassidy Hickey. Second base, Alyssa Elliott. And this is a little bunt here up the first base side. Is that fair? Yes, it is. So a leadoff single for Emily Whalen, just like she likes it. Madeline Friday, the shortstop. Vanessa Tenetta, the third baseman, left to right. Alejandra Gonzalez, Julia Salome in center, and Lucia Flory, the right fielder for the Dedham Marauders. Line up and the pitch. That's down low. Whalen's going to easily advance. Well pitch there. So the Hiller's getting things started off on the right foot. It's a big TVL game, and Dedham still right in the mix of things. They have clinched a playoff spot. So this, is a, this would be a nice win if the Hillers are able to come through today. And here's another bunt, and that is foul. So that'll make the count one and one on McCluskey. We'll get you some numbers on McCluskey. She's having a pretty good season at the plate. A 436 batting average, 14 runs scored, four driven in, swing and a miss there. One and two. And if you get her and Whalen on base, look out. Very windy day too, so the wind could have an impact. Constant gusts are expected. There were some heavy storms around the areas. This is up the middle, that's a fair ball. Landed on the ground, throw to first. And they got her, that was close. 
but they do call her out. Wayland did advance to third. So it turns into a pretty good sacrifice there for McCluskey with just one out. And now Katie Holly, the center fielder, will step in. Katie Holly has been an absolute monster at the plate, a team leading 655 batting average, 36 for 55. That is just tremendous. She tips that one foul. She has scored 27 runs, driven in 31, six doubles, four triples, and a homer. Always a constant, constant threat. There's a bunt there. She's squaring away. Is she going to pull back and swing? Yes, foul away. Oh, and two. One out in the inning. Emily Whalen over at third. She led things off with a nice bunt single and advanced on a wild pitch and advanced on a McCluskey ground out. And she'll get a piece of this right over our heads. Count remains 0 and 2. Thought for a minute I was going to have to make a diving leap to uh, prevent our cameraman, John Ritz, from getting hit. He's taken it all this season. And this is up the middle. That'll get through. Emily Whalen comes around to score. It's 1 0 Hillers. Katie Holly does it again. An RBI single. Bring up Jillian Cedia, the catcher. She's been great at the plate as well. 600 batting average, 27 for 45, 13 runs scored, 29 driven in, seven doubles, four homers. And she's gonna crush this one, but it is going to get a little too much air and be caught by Floria. The wind certainly fought that a little. Two away, Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, will step in. It was a 3.15 start for today's ball game. They had the Senior Day festivities. They had the annual poem reading to the seniors as Alyssa McIntyre takes a strike. And there is a number of great seniors on this team this year. It's fouled away. And runner will have to return to first. Taking a look at this year's seniors, Katie Holly is in her senior year, Bella Ansi, Emily Whalen, and those are just three tremendous players that have really contributed to the Hillers this season. They will certainly be missed, but this softball program has a number of great talent coming up through the ranks. Up the middle, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first, not in time. And now advancing to third is Katie Holly, and now up to second is McIntyre. So McIntyre reaches on the single, Holly up to third. And an errant throw there, allowing the advancement of McIntyre. And right now, John Ritz holding the camera as the wind continues to gust pretty heavily. And there is a situation where the wind did affect that throw. You could see the wind kind of blow it up a little bit. And it took longer, I think, than it normally would have to get to first base. As Kester takes strike one. Tara Kester is really someone that's come along in the batter's box. And she'll get a piece of this one, and it's caught by the shortstop for the third out of the inning. But the Hillers play a run, and they lead it one to nothing as we head to the top of the second on H cam. Top of the second inning, Molly Egan, the pitcher, set to step in for Dedham. She'll take strike one. Charlotte Can out there for another inning of work. She had a clean first that allowed two to get on, but no harm done. One and one is the count. Tom Nappy on the call. John Ritz, our cameraman. We got Bob Hamilton and Larry Sacklad over at the baseball game. So you'll see that on H Cam in the very near future. Two and one count.
Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, two and two. That's a big baseball game they got going on up there too. Dedham having a great year on the baseball diamond. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. And she got her, one away. That's the third strikeout for Charlotte Can as Alyssa Elliott will step in, the second baseman. There's a strike. I think for Ken, it's once she gets through that first inning, she starts to settle down a little bit. And things just seem to go her way. There's strike two. Another nice pitch. And there it is. Three pitches, three strikes, out number two. That'll bring up Alejandra Gonzalez, the left fielder. And the first pitch is a ball, one and zero. Oh. Can set to deliver, up high. Two and zero. Oh. Just a little high there. Well, she tried the breaking pitch there, just couldn't get it in the zone. That one's in there, three and one. And there's a walk, a two out walk to Gonzalez. Now Lucia Floria, the right fielder, will step in. Healers softball, they were supposed to play last night. 7.30 start against Medfield. That game ended up getting rained out as lacrosse had a delay. They got the lacrosse games in, but there was a extensive delay due to rain, lightning, and thunder. And of course, by then it was just too late to get the softball game in. There's a bunt, and it is a fair ball picked up by Otzi. Throw to first. Great coverage by Whalen. Well done by the Hillers. Three to four on the third out of the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the second. The Hillers leading one to nothing on H Cam. Bottom of the second. Belonzi stepping in, fouls it away. One and zero. Oh. Pretty tremendous. I feel like every senior day they have all these nice decorations and these nice paper ribbons, and it's always very windy. So we have to uh, contest with that a little bit. As Ansi gets a piece of this one, slow roller picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first, did uh, the first baseman's foot come off the bag? Yes, it did. Or no, it didn't. No, she's called out. It was an interesting sign by the umpire. Kind of. Stuck out the forearm, which usually means the first baseman came off the bag. Jordan Chevery, the left fielder, will step in. One out. Fouled away. Molly Egan, a senior for Dedham, the pitcher. And she's thrown well this season. Been one of the big reasons that Dedham is very much in the hunt at a TVL small title. And this is up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, got her. Five to three on the out, two away. And now Megan Sullivan, the right fielder, will step in. Megan Sullivan at a 400 mark on the season, four for 10 at the plate. Hasn't had much hitting experience, but. I'd expect the junior to get more this year and certainly a whole lot next year. She could be in the starting fold with the departure of Katie Holly as that one's fouled away. She's in the starting fold today. Wind up and the pitch. 
And therefore a strike, one and one. Good turnout for Hiller softball today. Got a number of fans piling up on the hill. Down low. Why not? Great day for it. And therefore strike, says the home plate umpire, two and two. Swing and a miss. Out number three for the Hillers. We'll head to the top of the third. Hopkinton leading Dedham one to nothing on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the third inning. Top of the order for Dedham, Gianna Schiarapa, the designated player, Madeline Friday, the shortstop, and Cassidy Hickey, the first baseman. First pitch a little bit low, one and oh. We'll get you some stats on Charlotte Can throughout the season on the mound. There's a strike, one and one. Up high, two and one. So for Charlotte Can in her freshman year, 297 ERA, eight appearances on the mound, 35 and a third of an inning overall. That's fouled away. She's given up uh, only 15 earned runs, faced 166 batters, 41 strikeouts, one and O oh overall. Although I don't know how accurate that is. There's a ball. I think she has a little more than one win. But we go with what we got. Full count here. Check swing, did she go? I thought she went, yes she did. Good call by the umpire there. She certainly brought that bat around. And now Madeline Friday will step in. Like maybe a couple of inches too far with the bat for that to be a walk. Ken racking up the strikeouts today. She has already five strikeouts on the day. Pitch down low. Two and oh. With Ken, it's really just been keeping her pitches under control. If she keeps control, she's more than likely going to have a good day out there. There's a ball just outside, three and oh. Set to deal. There's a strike, three and one. In the top of the third, one out, one nothing lead for the Hillers. Just low. Friday draws the walk, and that'll bring up Cassidy Hickey, the first baseman. She had a single back in the first inning. Down low, and the runner from first going to advance the second on the wild pitch. One and oh count. Up high. Well, this is going to be a game all about which team gets the bats going first. Pretty good pitching matchup today. It's not going to be easy to get hits. Fouled away, two and one. Freshman set to deliver. There's a strike. Right, 
two and two. And that's a foul tip. And this is up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, nicely done. Now the throw to third, not in time, just late. So Friday does advance, but a nice job by McCluskey getting the out at first. And now there's two away, Sierra Bullett, the catcher, will step in. He's the cleanup hitter for Dedham. So they have two outs, runner on third. An opportunity to try the game, to tie the game with the cleanup hitter at the plate, as she'll get a piece of this. Over to center field, caught by Holly. And that is the third out of the inning. We will head to the bottom of the third with the Hillers leading one to nothing on H cam. Set for the bottom of the third, top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen, the second baseman. Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman. Katie Holly, the center fielder, due up to face Molly Egan, who's pitched a pretty good game so far for Dedham. Emily Whalen started things off with a bunt in the first and ended up reaching and scoring the first run of the game. She scored that on a Katie Holly single after Kristen McCluskey sacrificed to advance Whalen to third. Whalen advanced to second on a wild pitch. And I'll see if the top of the Hiller's order can do more damage. Emily Whalen this season at a 579 batting average, 33 for 57. 27 runs scored, 12 driven in, four doubles, three triples, and a homer. That pitch down low. I'd say probably the most dangerous leadoff hitter in the TVL. Gets a piece of this one over to center field, caught. Julius Salome is there for out number one, and now Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman, will step in. McCluskey had a 436 on the season heading into this game. 17 for 39 at the plate. 14 runs scored, four driven in, two doubles, two triples. She'll take a ball inside there. The 1-0, down low. Don't forget, senior night festivities continue. Hiller's boys lacrosse taking on Dedham, 6.30 start. That game will be live on our YouTube page tonight. A pitch outside, 3-0. What a season the boys lacrosse team is having and congratulations to the girls across team they clinched a playoff spot defeating medfield yesterday that pitch is a strike three and one and that was a great win against a very good medfield team that the girls ended up getting and there's a walk one out walk and now katie holly the center fielder will step in Lefty awaits the pitch. Gets a piece of it up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, they get the out. Four to three on the out. McCluskey advances to second. Julian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. Heading into this game, Julian, a 600 batting average. 27 for 45 at the plate, 13 runs scored, 29 driven in, seven doubles, four homers, takes a ball there. She has been tremendous in the batter's box. Molly Egan awaits the sign and is now set to deliver. 
Up the left side, no one's getting to that. And the lead runner will stop at third. So McCluskey up to third, CD aboard with the single, and we'll probably see a pinch runner here. Alyssa McIntyre set to step in, and we will see a pinch runner. It'll be Heather Sivo, the junior pinch running for Cedia. I'll tell you, these Hillers pinch runners getting a lot of action this year with the Cedia sisters doing very well at the plate. Well, it's been mostly uh, Jillian Cedia at the plate. Juliana Cedia has been tremendous in the pitcher's circle. And she'll get a piece of this one over to left field, and it's caught. Well, Gonzalez battled the sun, but reeled it in for the third out. We'll head to the top of the fourth. one nothing Hillers on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Phil's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Fourth inning, a 1 0 Hillers lead. Due up for Dedham is 5, 6, and 7. Julia Salome, the center fielder. Molly Egan, the pitcher. Alyssa Elliott, the second baseman. We do have an update from the baseball game. Hillers and Dedham currently tied in the third inning, three to three. Mary Sacklad sending us over that update. So they got a good battle between the Hillers and Dedham going on at the grass baseball field as well right now. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss, so and two. Can deals and gets another strikeout. A three pitch strikeout for out number one. And she is racking up the K's. Six strikeouts for Can today. Molly Egan, the pitcher, steps in, trying to help her own cause here. There's a strike. Well, Can's got the fastball working for her today. I think that one was just outside, one and one. Fouled away, one and two. Nicely done by Coach Martell, the assistant. Upstairs, that gets away. Two and two. No one on base for Dedham. One out. There's a strike. And she got her. Seven strikeouts for Can. That'll bring up Alyssa Elliott, the third baseman. Second baseman, excuse me. Upstairs, one and oh. Up high, two and oh. Hiller's infield is playing in on the corners, expecting maybe a bunt here. There's a strike. Two and one. Strike two, nice pitch. One strike away from ending the top of the fourth. There it is, strike three. Charlotte can strikes out the side. Eight strikeouts so far today for the freshman. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth with the Hillers leading one to nothing on H cam. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. First pitch to Terra Kesta is low, one and oh. 
Tara Kester flew out her only plate appearance this game. 405 batting average for Kester. She's really done well. 15 for 37 at the plate. 15 runs scored, 10 driven in, five doubles. Down low. And she really went from a utility defensive personnel to, and also a great pinch runner to really someone you can rely on at the plate very heavily. She's in the designated player role today. There's a strike, two and one. Well, we could tell you that Hiller's baseball, Hiller's softball, boys lacrosse, girls lacrosse, all have qualified for the postseason. We're certainly gonna try to get you as much playoff action as possible. That's hit into center field. So that'll be a leadoff hit for Kester, adding on to that already impressive batting average. And now Bella Ansi, the first baseman, will step in. Tara Kester, she's someone that's going to get a lot of playing time over the next couple of seasons for this Hillers softball team. Already getting a whole lot in her sophomore year. Belancy in her senior year hitting a 381 coming into this game. Swing and a miss there. She is 8 for 21 overall at the plate. Four runs scored, eight driven in, two doubles and a triple. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Molly Egan waits the sign. Just outside, two and one. Hillers baseball taking on Dedham. They're still at three to three in the fourth. Busy week for Hillers baseball. We'll also have the tournament coming up over in Natick. The Pedroli Tournament, that'll kick off Thursday against Franklin. Two-two pitch. Slow roller up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, and that was nicely done by Vanessa Tanetta. That was a real slow roller, but she's able to keep her cool, pick it up, and get the throw over in time. Tara Kester does push up to second. Jordan Chevery, the left fielder, will step in. One out, one on. Jordan Chevery, a junior, hitting a 455 at the plate. Hillers, as a team, hitting a 441. There's a bunt fouled away. That's just very impressive. 441 batting average. I mean, their offense has just been remarkable. Chevery is 20 for 44 overall. Fouled away. 0 oh and 2. She has scored 12 runs, driven in 13. Has a pair of doubles and triple to her credit. Molly Egan set to deliver. And Chevery gets a piece of this one, and it's caught by the second baseman. Two away, Megan Sullivan, the right fielder, will step in. She was hitting a 400 coming into this game. Only 12 plate appearances, four for 10 at the plate. There's a strike. Two outs, runner on second for the Hillers here in the bottom of the fourth. Hopkinton leading Dedham one to nothing. And this is hit high in the air, right side. Second baseman will take a couple steps to her left and make the catch. So after four, it remains a one nothing Hillers lead on H camp. We are set for the top of the fifth inning. It remains a 1-0 Hillers lead. 8-9 and 1 do up for Denham. 
Alejandra Gonzalez will lead things off. She's a junior. And the first pitch is a ball. One and oh. Can eight strikeouts so far in this game. Two and oh count. That is just outside, three and oh now. Gonzalez walked and her only plate appearance in this game. And there's a strike, three and one. Three and two. Can trying to battle back here. There it is. And no, excuse me, that was a walk. So Gonzalez did draw the walk there and that'll bring up Lucia Floria, right fielder. So lead runner on for Dedham. And now we have a bunt. Slow roller up the middle, picked up by Can. throw to first, they get the out. But the job is done as Gonzalez advances to second. Two to three on the out. That'll bring up Gianna Skirapa, the designated player. Well, Dedham knows that this is going to be a game where you gotta more than likely manufacture a run. And there's a bunt. And they call it a ball, but I don't think she pulled that bunt back. But it is going to be a one and oh count. Skirapa up the left side, that's a fair ball. Here comes Gonzalez to score, and she will. It's a one-to-one -one game. An RBI double for Skirapa. Job well done there for Dedham, and now Madeline Friday will step in. Well, the Hillers will have to get their bats going once again. There's a strike. So it's a runner on second, still one out for Dedham, so more damage could be done here. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first, pulls Otzi off the bag, everybody's safe. Well, if McIntyre looked to her left, you had Skirapa standing right next to her. She could have laid the tag on her. Big error there on McIntyre. So now you got runners on first and third with one out. And you got Cassidy Hickey at the plate. Down low. Fouled away, one and one. Runner will have to return to first. That is just a rough break there for the Hillers. You gotta get at least one out in that situation. Outside, throw to third, runner steals first. Steals second from first. So stolen base for Madeline Friday. Oh, uh, they were gonna see if Cedia tried to throw to second there and send the runner from third, but she wasn't falling for that. Up the middle, and it's picked up by McIntyre, steps on second, and then throws over to first, gets one out, a run does come around to score, it's two to one Dedham. So sacrifice RBI ground out for Hickey. Skirapa comes around to score, Madeline Friday up to third, and now Sierra Bolette will step in to the right-handed batter's box. There's a strike. So Dedham now in control, up two to one. And that's fouled away. That will be an unearned run as well. So 
since there was an error that should have been out number two. But certainly that doesn't matter for Dedham. One and two count. Up high. Two and two. Now uh, Sierra Bullett will head over to her coach for some words of wisdom. It's a runner on third for Dedham. Two outs in the inning. Two runs have scored for the Marauders. And that is going to get away from the catcher. Cedia picks it up, throw over, and it is not going to be in time. A little low on the throw. Friday scores. It's three to one, Dedham. So Friday comes around on the wild pitch. Well, this is what Denham was looking for here. Swing and a miss, and there's out number three, but not before Denham plates three runs, and they lead it three to one as we head to the bottom of the fifth on H cam. Bottom of the fifth inning, top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen will start things off. We have a change for Denham. Cassidy Hickey and Molly Egan have swapped places. Molly Egan, who was the starting pitcher, did a very nice job, moves over to first base. And now Cassidy Hickey is the pitcher. The pitch was up high. Well, it's interesting you have a pitching change. I mean, Egan hasn't given up a run since the first inning. So we'll see if it pays off here. Whalen gets a piece of this, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, one away. Hillers down to their final eight outs. Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman, will step in. McCluskey 0 for 1 this game. Actually, 0 for 0. She had a sacrifice and a walk. Pitch down low. Up high. Two and O count. And there's a bunt foul. Two and one. Well, for Molly Egan, she pitched four innings, giving up five hits, one run, striking out one, and walking just one. It's a good start for Egan. Fouled away, two and two. That run was actually unearned as well. There has not been a single earned run in this game for both sides. Inside, full count. Well, we'll see what happens here, but if you're Molly Egan after the start you just had, if you don't get this win and you're pulled out of that pitcher's circle, that'll certainly hurt. It's very rare that you'll see a pitcher pitch essentially four innings, not giving up any earned run and getting pulled. And this is hit up the right side. That'll trickle into right field. A one-out single for McCluskey. And now you have Katie Holly coming up to the plate. And we'd certainly love her to do something here. She's one for two in this game. She had an RBI single to score Whalen. 
and I stand in corrected. The run the Hillers scored actually was an earned run. So that indeed was an earned run. That pitch is high. Now up to second is McCluskey, but she's thrown out. Looks like she had a little hesitation there and was thrown out, trying to advance on the high pitch, two away. Bunt is squared by Holly. Well, if you're the Hillers, you're struggling to score runs today. I don't know why you take that risk there. Especially with Katie Holly at the plate, Julian Cedia do up next. Could have had one out with the runner on. Now you just have two outs, no one on. And this is up the middle, right back to the pitcher. There it is, over to first for the third out of the inning. One to three on the out. We'll head to the top of the sixth. It's Dedham leading Hopkinton, three to one on H cam. Top of the sixth inning, a three to one lead for Dedham as they'll try to add on here. It was a great inning in the fifth for the Marauders. They were able to manufacture a few runs. Charlotte, and it looks like Cedia has taken over on the mound. So we do have Cedia out there to take over. First pitch is a strike. There's a ball, one and one. Nine strikeouts for Charlotte Can in the start today. Fouled away. She gave up four walks, pitched five innings, giving up three runs, none of which were earned. And this is up the left side. Good dive there by the third baseman, but McCluskey has no play on it. So Julia Salami, the center fielder, reaches on a leadoff single. And now Molly Egan, who was the starting pitcher, now at first base will step in. And throw over to first. Did she get back in time? Yes, she did. Pretty good throw by Julian Cedia. Bunt pulled back. Runner stays put at first. Pitch was up high. down low. Runner on first, no outs for Dedham. Juliana Cedi is in the game now to pitch. After Charlotte Can went five pretty good innings. Dedham scored three runs, but the way I have it, none of those were earned. Down low. And it was a foul tip, so that'll fill up the count. CD is set to deal. And this is hit in the air to left field, caught. One away. So Chevery is there. That'll bring up Alyssa Elliott, the second baseman. There's a bun up the right side, fair ball picked up, throw to first, they get the out. Nice play by Ansi. It was three to four on the out, Salamai advances to second. And now 
Alejandro Gonzalez, the left fielder, will step in. Juliana Cedia delivers inside. There's a strike. One and one. Down low, two and one. Runner on second, two outs for Dedham. They're looking to add on some security here. Fouled away. Hillers baseball leading Dedham six to three. They're in the top of the fifth. He is set to deal. Fouled away. Upstairs, full count. Gonzalez. 0 for 0 today. She's drawn a couple walks. Swing and a miss. Strike three to wrap up the top of the sixth. We'll head to the bottom of the inning. The Hillers have some work to do as they trail Dedham 3 to 1 on H camp. Bottom of the sixth inning. CD is at the plate. 1 and 0 is the count. Julian CD, Alyssa McIntyre, Tara Kester do up. Face Cassidy Hickey in her second inning of work. Hit high in the air, right side, and no one's going to get there in time. A good effort by Alyssa Elliott, the second baseman. One and one. Julian Cedia is one for two on the day. And she'll get a piece of this one to the wall, and see you later! Jillian Cedia does it again! Her fifth home run of the season, and she absolutely tattooed that ball. It is a three to two ball game. Wow, did she crush that one. Never ceases to amaze me with the power she has. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, will step in. Well, that's why you always wonder when you make a pitching change. Well, Egan was pitching uh, very well for Dedham. Didn't give up a run since the first inning. They switch pitchers, and Cedia gets a pitch hanging in the zone and just absolutely crushes it. Hillers still have some more work to do, however, as McIntyre will take ball one. One and oh. I believe Dedham did play yesterday, so Egan might have pitched a bunch of innings yesterday. That could be a reason for the change. And there's a lot of teams with a whole lot of makeup games this week as we are nearing the end of the season. And it was, of course, a whole lot of rainouts. Rainy spring it's been. Up the left side, that'll trickle through. That's a fair ball. McIntyre around first, heading to second. The throw in is off the mark. She's safe. A double for Alyssa McIntyre. Tara Kester will step in. No outs in the inning for the Hillers. Runner on second. Jillian Cedia Homer to start things off. Hopkinton in business. Tara Kester, one for two today. 
There's a strike. She will foul this one away. Lands just in front of us, 0 oh and 2. That was a great piece of hitting by McIntyre. A little bit of a risk advancing a second there, but fortunately the throw is off the mark. And this is popped up, right side, battling the sun. First baseman makes the catch. One away. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, will step in. So the game tying run at second, one out for the Hillers. And he, just about any base hit here would score McIntyre. Ansi takes ball one. Down low. I'd imagine the Hillers are going to be conservative on the base paths. Trailing by one with one out in the inning. Got to let the hitters do the job. Otzi gets a piece of this over to left field. It's caught. And the runner's going to have to go back to second. She was already at third. A terrible base running mistake there. And it's a double play to wrap up the inning. And the Hillers do play to run, but Dedham leads 3-2 to two as we head to the top of the seventh on HCAM. Top of the seventh inning, Dedham at the plate trying to add some security. This is hit in the air over to left field and caught by Jordan Chevery. One pitch, one out. That was Lucia Flora, the right fielder who flew out. Gianna Scarappa will step in, the designated player. So it's a 3-2 to Dedham lead. Hillers will be down to their final three outs in the bottom of the seventh. Melissa McIntyre was trying to tag back up on a fly out, but she was pretty much already at third base when the ball was caught and just did not have any chance to get back. One and oh count. You know, in a situation where you have a fly ball like that, you have to wait near second base. You can't just go or you run into situations like that. Juliana Cedia working for her second inning in the pitcher's circle. That one's fouled away, two and one. Charlotte can pitched five solid innings to start off this game. Two one pitch. There's a strike. Two and two. And there's strike three, two away. Madeline Friday, the shortstop, will step in. Well, this is important for the Hillers. Uh, keep this a pretty clean inning. Get right back into the batter's box and see what you could do in the bottom of the seventh. You got Chevery and Megan Sullivan do up, so certainly not too bad there. And then of course, Emily Whalen will be back to the top of the order at that point. One and O oh on Friday. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught. Nicely done by Megan Sullivan for the third out of the inning. And we will head to the bottom of the seventh. It is a three to two Dedham lead. The Hillers down to their final three outs next on HCAM. Bottom of the seventh inning, Hillers down to their final three outs. Jordan Chevery steps in. That pitch is down low. Cassidy Hickey is the pitcher. Let's put it back to auto then. Hickey set to deal. Chevery is 0 for 2 today. Gets a piece of this one up the middle, picked up by Hickey, throw to first. One away. 
One to three on the out. Megan Sullivan, the right fielder, will step in. And actually, we're going to have a pinch hitter here. It's going to be Sienna Harrigan, the sophomore, stepping in for Sullivan. Harrigan had a 233 mark on the season. Seven for 30 at the plate. Seven runs scored. And seven driven in. So the Hillers pulling out all the stops now here in this bottom of the seventh, trailing three to two. They need a run to extend this game, and of course two to walk off. But Cassidy Hickey has pitched pretty solid throughout her last couple of innings. Did give up that home run to Jillian Cedia, and then a double to Melissa McIntyre. And later on in the inning, McIntyre made a base running mistake to allow for a double play on a flyout by Bella Ansi. That was after Tara Kester grounded out. So it was a rough break there for the Hillers. It will be top of the order after Harrigan. Wind up and the pitch, there's a bunt fouled away. Oh and one. Infielders in on the corners. There's a strike, 0 oh, and 2. Inside, good eye there, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, out number two. Emily Whalen will step in. Dedham leads Hillers baseball nine to three. Top of the fifth. One and oh count to Whalen. Upstairs. Two and oh. Well, if Whalen gets on, that is a huge base running threat for the Hillers. That would be exactly what you need. Kristen McCluskey coming up to the plate, who's swinging a good bat right now. There's a strike though, two and one. Last thing you want to do if your denim is let Whalen reach. Your best bet, put it right down the middle and let her see if she can get a hit. And she will hit this one in the air, right field foul, two and two. She got some good distance on that one. Hillers down to their final out, trailing three to two here in the bottom of the seventh. And she'll get a piece of this one over to left field. It's caught. And just like that, Dedham is going to grab the win here against the Hopkinton Hillers. The final score, Dedham three, the Hillers two. Dedham scores three runs on eight hits and they commit one error while the Hillers they score two runs on three hits and commit two errors a tough loss for the Hillers but still plenty more games left to be played of course Hopkinton will be going to postseason they fall to 12 and 4 overall Dedham improving to 12 and 5 big win for the Dedham Marauders here today a final score for the final time, Dedham 3, the Hillers 2. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on H-Camp. Don't forget, Hillers Boys Lacrosse live on our YouTube page tonight, 6.30 start time. It's Hillers Boys Lacrosse Senior Night 
again, Stedham. So we'll talk to you in a couple hours. But again, for John Ritz, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.